Right, so we have got one camera there, one camera there, one there, and one there. So four cameras, not quite as good as John's, because if you look at John's, he's got his roof rack to be able to put them on. But they do do well. I've had John doing the walk by test to make sure that he can walk by here and then walk by the back of the van to see whether I can see him going near my doors. Um, but yeah, it is really good. That needs to clean because um, when I did a, a bit of a test drive on it before, it was uh, a bit dirty. So I think a fly was the first thing to go on it. But yeah, pretty good going. There's not an awful lot of room on here. But, you know, we're getting there, filling it up nicely. Right, and there we go. It is very simple, just a 12 volt socket there. I've got one on either side of my van, so I can do it either side. And now I can see very clearly the uh, picture from there. And this has got a good, it's got a USB thing in there. You know, I've got USB there anyway. So I can use one of my spare uh, Neos cameras and do what John's done and pointed it at it so I can see it when I'm not here so yeah good stuff that makes me feel a heck of a lot safer so all the cameras are say so wireless cameras as in they all connect wirelessly but they still need a cable because they need power so you need to get power to them but apart from that the uh, they use wi-fi to connect to this majibi right here so look see just seen John get out of his van so it's working so yeah, good stuff. I'm really happy with that. That looks absolutely brilliant. And the, it is one of those weird things. There's a couple of park ups that I will be going to when I go to Manchester to um, see family and friends and things. And some of my favourites are the kind of tucked out of the way and the good, but it does mean that sometimes there's dog walkers and things that come around. Um, I never feel unsafe there, but sometimes it's just nice to be able to see outside without having to pull a blind down. So I'm going to uh, be able to give them a bit of a test and see how um, how it goes on. No doubt I'll forget, because I always do. But at least now I can see that the um, that I've got good coverage from all of this. John's already done his little walk around to see when I can see him. So uh, yeah, I am very, very happy with my hand-me-down CCTV. So I'd like to say I'm repairing and putting my new tap on. But unless I've suddenly got really freckly manly hands then uh, I'm not doing it. Oh, oh. Yeah, um, you know, I need to turn your pump off. <laughs> okay, um, and once again, with the tap switched off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So that was me literally getting the tap out of the box and standing there while John's talking to me, just going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs> Switch. It's where John fixes things for me. Right, and there we go. Water from a tap where it should be instead of... I mean, before, the tap was literally just lying in my sink because where it leaked, I figured as long as it leaks in the sink, it's no big deal. So, yeah, nice one. Well, hello. I have been... Let's shut these windows so you can hear me. I have been rather remiss with my... Uh, videoing of late mostly because um, we've been just getting cracking in the storage unit to try and get everything sorted ready for uh, the Willow Fields weekend which I am on my way to right now um, and really it's been so long since I've seen Gabby and Johnny because we've been away um, so I'll be working behind the bar which um, I do a lot and I've just noticed my camera's falling down behind my head um, and I really enjoy working behind the bar there, so I'm looking forward to that. And um, and just seeing you know, there's a lot of people going I've not seen for ages too. So John's got to stay back at the unit. There's a lot of things, deliveries and stuff um, that we were hoping would come before today. Um, if they do come today or tomorrow, then you never know. He might show up for a night, but um, I'm sure he'll busy himself there anyway. But yeah, exciting stuff. It's um, it is a bit sad to be get all the stuff. I want to keep everything. Um, you know, bag of screws. Of course, I'm gonna. I, I just want them. And John's like, what on earth do you need a bag of screws for? And I'm like, because as soon as we don't have a bag of screws, 
I'm going to need a bag of screws. So I've kept a small bag of screws. <laughs> Compromise, that's what it's all about. So, um, so yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll see what I can pick up this weekend. Willow Fields, if you don't know it, is a, I want to say back to basics campsite, but it really isn't because they've got electric hookup, they've got steaming hot, unlimited showers. Um, they have a clubhouse that's open at weekends that they serve really good food. There's laundry on site. There's uh, a vending machine for essentials and things. And the owners, Gabby and Johnny, are absolutely lovely. The reason why it feels back to basics is because it is quiet. It is quiet and you have space. It's not one of these cram packed things. Most of the pictures are grass pictures. It just feels like you're away from everything, but you've not, you've got everything. And that's why I love it there. So yeah, so go back and uh, hopefully have a, um, a really, really good weekend. I've only brought four cans of beer. I'm, obviously I drink behind the bar. Um, I will buy drinks from the bar, I should say. Um, because that's what you're doing then. Uh, but I'm going to have to drink some pop and some coffee because I cannot handle my beer. The last time I worked behind the bar, um, it was close to the end of season. And um, Johnny said, if that keg doesn't get sold, then um, it's going to go in the bin. So sell it for whatever you can. So I was pulling pints, like you wouldn't believe, and selling them cheap. And also chucking my money in the till and drinking them too. I must have come back from there about eight pints in, still walking, no problem. Maybe a teeny hangover the next day. Yeah, I couldn't do one now, I don't think. So menopause is an awful, awful thing. I could drink many grown men under the table and now I can't. So I need to wait pull over because that is doing my head in, I can hear it. So here's a quick one for you. Where you're from, what does the horn on the bus do? Because this was carnage. It was honk or beep. And it was an absolute mess. <laughs> Hello. So it is currently 1.49. Bars all locked up. Those are on a timer, they'll go off at two. And uh, just going around and cleaning up outside after cleaning the bar. So... It's been a good night, all the things going on. It's been a wonderful atmosphere. And I do believe that the wheels on the bus rendition of all the drunk people in the bar jumping in and singing with all their might to a kid's song was the best. It was wholesome as anything. <laughs> it was such a laugh. So on for the next thing, we're gonna have another, oh, I should go this way. We're gonna have another tabletop sale in the morning. Tables are ready. And yeah, it's been a lovely weekend so far. Sunday tomorrow, so it's time for me to go back to the unit. But it's been lovely seeing everybody. Can't even name everybody, but Raymond Jane, Greg and Lou. Um, obviously Rob and Archie being here, just loads of people. It's been lovely. <sighs> the morning after the night before, it is 20 past 8, so it's not too bad. And everything's just coming to life. Some people are opening the doors. John's out here cooking breakfast. John cooks up a storm. JJ, he is an absolute legend. That man does the best pulled pork or roast pork sandwiches and what have you that you will ever, ever have. He's amazing. And uh, he's out here. He's been up late at night serving almost as late as I've been up. And then he's up getting every, everybody ready for breakfast in the morning. Sausage, eggs, tomatoes, mushrooms, a whole shebang. But yeah, it is great. But it's uh, had a little bit of rain before. Hopefully not so much rain for the rest of the day. Because everyone's going to be packing up, aren't they, and getting going. Um, we did a quirky camper competition yesterday. These two were in the finals for the um, for the van. So we've got Rob and um, and Jet and Dave in there, 
and they had to duke it out via a swing ball game because it was supposed to be put to the audience and then the audience agreed that both of them were just as good and in the end they shared the winnings so how cool is that so yeah anyway i have decided this morning i'm gonna be my coffee snobbery self I'm going to make sure that my first coffee of the day is a is a proper one. Then I'm going to pop over so uh, JJ's not sat over on his own cooking for everybody. I have some food here. I'm going to make myself a sausage sandwich into a toasty. So I think I've got to keep make, cooking sausages. And then I'll put the cooked sausages with cheese, tomato sauce, brown sauce, crispy fried onions, and then put it in the, to in the sandwich toaster and warm it all through and toast it that way. And oh, I mean, that's a sandwich. So I'm going to be good and do that. For some reason, I offered to sew a button on someone's shorts yesterday. <laughs> so I have shorts. So while I drink my coffee and eat my sandwich, I'm going to sew a button on <laughs> and, then, and then return said shorts to their owner. Well, so it seemed like a video of me making this toasty and then nothing else. So this is all you get from my final Sunday because I was too busy saying bye to everybody to record anything else. And I was late leaving because there were that many people to say goodbye to. So yeah, absolutely cracking weekend, you know. Well, that wasn't a very uh, very good of me to do lots of recording, so uh, it was a good weekend. It always is up there. So if, um, if ever you do fancy something that's a bit quieter than the big old festivals, but still got a great vibe, then um, then yeah, it's a, it is a good place to be. Um, and it's been so nice getting caught up with everybody else. I mean, I supposed to have left two hours ago, but because so many people have stayed an extra night, it's just taken me that long to get out. So um, I was going to have a final shower before I left, but then um, me and John have got to go to Ferrybridge Services uh, to meet some people anyway, so I'm going to have a shower there instead because I've just literally left it right to the wire. So much so I've not even made my bed after washing the, the quilt's finally been washed. So it's part of the proof is the fact that it's there and it's in a bag. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a lovely weekend. Um, but it's going to be nice to get back and see John for a bit and um, and get some more sorting sorted. Uh, so yeah, so if I did see any of you at Willow Fields, thank you so much for coming up. I had so many people coming and saying hi to me while I was at the van and asking for a tour. And it's but I didn't I didn't click that people would want to look around my van. It just didn't enter my head. Uh, so that's been really excited. I probably would have cleaned a little bit more or tidied, I should say, a little bit more. So everything was a bit more as it should be. But yeah, yeah, it's been absolutely wonderful. So uh, 45 minutes back, so it's not too bad. As usual with me, I've got some banging tunes lined up and uh, that 45 minutes will probably fly right on by. What an awful day i mean it's been a good day i should have been out of here a couple of hours ago because i'm heading over to manchester to see um to see family so uh as much as i've been busy this last weekend at willow field i think i'm going to be putting similar hours in for this next week because you know you can't get enough hours in the day so it'll be business early morning and in, in, in the evening and then awesome days out and awesome days out to make the most of the school holidays so uh, so yeah so I get to I get to go to a few really cool places with the grandson I get to see hopefully two of my friends I've not seen in a long while and uh, me and my sister have decided because um, it's a big birthday for her next week she is suffering with the menopause just like me like really really suffering so we decided that instead of just going to the local pub for a bit of a meal and a catch up, that we're going to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the day and go on all the, all the rides and roller coasters. And we're crazy. When we were kids, we were just like on everything. It doesn't matter. So let's see how the bets go for how much vomiting Mandy's going to do. Um, Cause I think it's an inner ear menopausal thing that's kicked off, but I'm good for a laugh. I don't mind. So, uh, so yeah blimmin fun filled but very very busy week ahead and i'm gonna miss john because john's staying here to sort the unit out he gets all the best jobs um but yeah no doubt we'll keep in touch with lots of video chats and whatnot so so there we go right i'm gonna go now um it's five o'clock so i should like say i should have been out of here a couple of hours ago so i'm gonna go right out of a monday morning rush hour traffic 
what can you do? I've got my park up picked up for this evening, which isn't too far from my daughter's house. And um, and yeah, nice uh, a nice get caught up with loads of stuff evening. In the rain. Bleh. Right, catch us in a bit. So parked up at another rainy park up, and I'm going to leave this video here. So thanks very much for coming along with me. And I hope to see you on the next video where I shall be doing such things as walking around Doodle Bank and going on Pleasure Beach and trying not to be sick. So thank you very much for coming. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.